Hello, and welcome to Wikipedia Weekly Network here, where Albin Larsson and I, Jan Einali, are editing Wikidata.li. How are you doing, Albin? I'm doing well, and I'm really excited to have this going on again. I was kind of when I wrote you last weekend that I, I can't this weekend, and then, then it was like, oh, but, but maybe I should suggest we should do it on a Monday or something, because <laughs> I really want to get going. And yes. now we're here, on a regular yes. time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a long time, and I was doing some querying earlier today, and it felt like I had forgotten something. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> it's been a little bit of a summer lull for for me on Wikidata. Yeah, yeah. So what what will you look into today? I don't think we have shown it before, but I will show Lucas Wikidata positions tool, which allow you to say mm. for images that hey. Within this square in this image, there is this Wikidata item. And it works both with structured data on commons and Wikidata items. So I was thinking about showing that and some related features and maybe a user script and something like that. Mm, really nice. And you? Yeah. I, I'm thinking because it's uh, Wikilabs Monument started this week, uh, I'm going to do a few map related it's always interesting i think we have shown similar before but also repetition is always good and i think there's i have some new takes that uh, y y you might learn from so hopefully nice we'll see <laughs> yeah so so let's go let's get going uh, i'll share my screen here and i'm gonna head straight into the wikidata query service it's it's still around as always on uh, query.wikidata.org. Uh, and let's see what we're going to try to do. So I'm going to try for, to get a bunch of uh, items related to Wikilove's monuments and display them on a map. Let's start there. And then we'll do some, <laughs> do some more after it. Uh, but, but let's start start from there. So, and of course, uh, for any country, it will be a little bit different. I'm actually, I think I'm even going to narrow down to just one municipality to not get a, a totally overloaded map because that's heavy on the browser. But you can, you can do this uh, depending on, on where you are. And so let's see, I'm going to start immediately with the default view map here. And I'll, I'll just start it with a hashtag and we get this nice little selector because we want to see things on a map. So let's default to your map. And, and and then we want to select something. I I know for sure I want to use an item and I want to know what it's called. So let's call for item label as well. Oh, let's even go with this uh, tip that I get here uh, because that also gives me the the language uh, service here. Oh, uh, I'm going to do English first, but since I'm going to be in Sweden and it might miss uh, English labels, I'm going to add Swedish as the, the second one here. Oh, and I also got a duplicate over here. So let's remove that. Then, of course, since we're doing map, we need some sort of coordinates. And the nice thing here is uh, the query service doesn't care if what, what you call this, as long as it is of the type coordinates. But to make it easy for myself, I'm actually going to call, call it just chord. So, so I know what I'm doing. All right. And now it comes to the tricky part here then. Uh, let's select something. Uh, the item should be, and I'm going to go from, from the Swedish here. So as a shorthand, I'll use uh, the Swede uh, open cultural heritage URI and identifier. Not everything is in here is in Wikilove's monuments, but it's a, a good shorthand. I'm actually yeah, going to. Everything in Wikilove monuments has that property. No, that's true. So I'm not going to get everything, but I'm not really caring deeply about. Uh, 
to actually being in Wikilove's monument because that's going to vary per country anyway. So I'm just going to get some sort of something here to put on the map, uh, slightly related at least, at least. And then we need some coordinates. So let's go with coordinate location, T625. And then to narrow it down here, I'm going to go to Let's go with the Minister of Church Hall and yes, there we have it. And I'll oh. and I'll go with my home municipality. Because then I will actually recognize and see if it makes sense. So that it should give me probably more than a thousand something. Let's run it and see. Yeah. Oop. Oh, I forgot to give the coordinate here. Here we go. So fifteen hundred something. And let's see how that looks on a map. It seems to be no outliers, so I think coordinates here are uh, all right. I can even recognize sort of the, the municipality borders here. Shape. Yep. yep, the shape of it. So that's very good. Uh, and if if you click on one of these, uh, It'll actually take the item and item label and put it on the map here and make it nice even. So that's how intelligent the map thing is. And let's what why do I it actually gets does it have two coordinates or is every two coordinates? Ah, it has two coordinates, prob probably very soon. So that might be something. I want to show you something else you can actually do here because we know here the the item label. That's something we get from the from the wiki based label service. But sometimes when you're doing with it, like have a lot, even the description might be good, and that's also something that you can just call for. So if you just add item description here uh, with capital D like label, capital D for description, that will also just work. So now the language service here, the label service, even if it's called label service, it also does. Uh, oh, here I got it in Swedish because there's nothing. Let's see if this lighthouse has something more in English. Yes, lighthouse in Ostama municipality, South Bosnia, coast Sweden. All right, that's kind of good. So we're getting somewhere. Wikilove's Monuments is a photography competition. So let's see if we can get some images here. And of course, it might be, not all of these will have uh, images. So we'll go for an optional. So we don't filter out those without. Image P18. Put ing up here, ing, and let's run that. Took a little bit more time to render because now if we click this one, it'll actually, oh, it'll actually show the image even. Here. So very nice with the map service here. It does a few things automatically. Now, this one does not have an image yet. And I think it would be very good if I could spot immediately on the map here which one of these have images and which one does not. And that's where we're going to use layers uh, for. So let's scroll back up to the 
here. So after we have done our optional, so some of them will have uh, gotten a value and some have not. And then there's a very fun, uh, useful thing we can uh, call for, we can, or use, we can call for bound to see if it has the value or not. So I'm gonna find here uh, something so that if it is bound, and the thing that's gonna be bound is gonna be the image thing. So if it is bound, I want to find uh, the value image available. And if not, I'm going to call it no image. And call that. And here's also some magic that the query service does for us. If I just call this layer now and add layer up here, it will do some nice little magic for us. I have to spell it correctly. This layer is sort of like a well, Often uh, the what what you call this doesn't matter, but here it does. Yeah, so it's now a magic, I will magic name. Yeah, yes, it's a magic name, and now I will get two layers, uh, which is either image available or no image, and they will hopefully get different colors. So let's see if this if this works. Oh no, these are not. Uh... It's a function. Yeah. Yes. And let's see, rendering, aha, and here we see, uh, we have more orange than uh, blue, and we can remember that this one was the one with the photo, but if not, we can also see up here in the top right corner where it actually lists all the layers, and you can turn one off and see, oh, these are the ones I need to go out and take photos of or you can do it the other way around and easily click on the ones that already have a photo, like perhaps uh, the church uh, where I'm baptized, I guess. You guess? I, I think I am. Uh, so, so that's pretty neat. And we all got a lot of things here, like for free with the with the magical uh, names and with the default view map that does like a lot of heavy lifting for us. We just need to do a fairly simple query. Now we can see here in the map that we have a lot of things, and if I click around, we can see oh, this is some sort of uh, a lot of buildings, and we have stone settings and stuff. Oh, so I think it would be nice to go one level more here and also have the type uh, to see. Yeah. So let's scroll up. Off. Yes, exactly. So I'm actually going to do that uh, 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 here. So we're going to go for, let's call it type. Go for RDFs. Well, nope, 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 nope. That's not what I want to do. I'm getting ahead of myself here. First, we want to go with getting the instance off here. That type. Then I also want the, the value for, for the type here. So that's why I'm going to do type. Here I'm going to call the RDFs label get this one because i want to uh, filter it uh, filter it and only get the english one and i'm gonna call that to and then i want to be able to select or see in my layers each type that has an image or not and combine those two. So I'm going to do a, a 
a, a new layer here, which means I'm actually going to not call this layer anymore. I'm just going to call this one L. And then we're going to bind something. Uh, uh, oh. And here we're going to get the, the layer. And what I'm, what I'm going to put in here is uh, concat of the T, TL and the L. So we can see type, no image, or uh, even even the opposite way around. I think I want to have first the image or no image, so I'll easily see it in my... Right. But this is a so. neat trick. Construct your own combined layer. Yeah. So, oh, and then for something like just a little nice separator here and TL. As layer. I think I'm actually going to need here as well to do a filter for the, the language of TL to be English. So only get the English one here. So I don't get duplicates. Let's see. So we have the filter here. We have yes. And here we do the concat. We take the first thing and after each comma you can put like whatever you want to put together and you can do as many as you want. So first I'm going to take the value here from from uh, either no image or image available and then add a little separator here to make it easier to read and then grab the English label of the type. And I'm pretty sure all the types will have English labels. And that will make it easier for you. All right. Let's see if this actually works. So a lot more colorful uh, map, which of course is expected because we now we have several types. But let's see up here if we... So we see it. Image available, church building, image, no image. Uh, it's, it's quite good. I would rather have these sorted. So let's see if I can... Oh. Uh, do an order here in my search. Order. I layer. Maybe. See if that actually, if the map service is nice to me here and respects that. Ooh. Yes, let's give me a full view here. So now we can see everything that has an image and a few more that doesn't. Uh, so, which is sort of nice because then we know that some of these have been completed, uh, whereas oh, some are still needed. But I, I thought I saw, for example, a Norse rune stone without image. Uh, yes. Early. So let's. So let's let's check it here. So no, no. image Norse root stone. Oh yes. That's interesting. Yes. This one is probably next to the church. Let's zoom yeah, in. Yeah, or inside see. of it or something like that. No, it's on the other yes, it's next to the church, yes. No, it's on the other side of the road. Maybe the coordinate oh, isn't perfect. But the church it should be here somewhere. So maybe it's inside there somewhere. Yeah. Uh, we do have an image of That's the church. Very interesting. Yes, that one should be possible to go get. Well, what else? So, so some of these are really hard to go get. Uh, yeah. For example, uh, we we have the the stone settings here. We can't really see it. It's behind the map. Map. Uh, some of the uh, graves could be hard. Now let's zoom out here and actually see. Look at these one by by one. Let's see if uh, uh, so much. Ah, here we go. 
I assume too much. My computer got, <laughs> got stuck. So let's see if we go, for example, ancient monuments. That's I think that's something generic. Yeah, well, it sounds uh, really generic. We have, uh, yeah, architectural ensemble. That's probably buildings. Yeah, cairns a lot. These can also be hard to see. Castles should be easy. We still have two no, no photos. That's odd. Maybe they are historic. Uh, oh, some cemeteries. Oh, foundations can also be hard, depending on where they are. Graves can be really hard. Hill forts can also be hard, yeah. A mill should be fairly good, if easy to spot if yeah. it's still around. Yeah, it might yeah. just be the foundation as well. Yeah, yes. And what do we have? A lot of things then. Uh, Norse runes, not more than one. Oh, that's... That seems oh, odd. Oh, it's in the municipality. Um, maybe they don't have the data. Should be a lot more in this area. Yeah, there should be. That's, of course, one that I have been around too. <laughs> Buildings. Ensembles, yes. Churches. That hotel. should be... One hotel, yeah, right. Yeah, it's probably a protected building as well. Then. Yeah, yes. Of the type hotel. And an industrial iron. heritage, uh, yes. That could just one in the same, yes. So these are the okay. same. Yeah. Two lighthouses. Sector light. I think that's also lighthouse. Okay. This is odd. That's really odd. Yeah, that's, that might be something. And one more working life museum. All right. I think we're missing a lot of data here to, to really capture it. But I think that's sort of like, uh, well, it's always good to try to find all the data through maps. Yeah, it, it's a good tool just to find like, I already have seen things that makes me want to go down in the data and see why is it looking this way. Yes. And I want to kind of <laughs> figure out how to fix it. And that, that yeah. showcase really how useful it is. Yeah. And that might be really hard to spot when you're looking at uh, a big table, especially when like when you have a table with a thousand rows because you won't see the odd data as quickly. Yeah. Uh, whereas here we first we get an aggregate from just from the layers. Uh, and then we also see uh, some something we shall hear and of course uh, humans and pattern recognition in this way is quite you you spotted the the one north runestone immediately <laughs> i i think that's sort of mostly what i had in mind today i'm gonna share this query here uh, uh, with, with you so that you can here is where in the top here is where where you actually like can adjust it for your competition or doesn't need to be Wikilabs monuments could be anything it could be Wikilabs earth or whatever you are doing let yeah, me see if i can... maybe not even wiki wiki loves anything so to say no yeah just lighthouses of different types so uh, uh that yes there's there it is and I think that'll do do it for me then. Neat. And I want to show today the Wikidata image position uh, tool. And it's really neat. It can show like regions of images where something is depicted. And you can also add that information to, to images. And it works both with structured data on commons as well as wiki data. 
So I thought I would start here on its documentation page, which I have the link for as well. And you can find your way directly to the tool this way. So it supports viewing this type of information. And we have an example here of squares being shown for various things. This depicts various types of pride flags, for example. And someone has annotated this. And yeah, it got a bunch of features and there is also a user script. I haven't tried this yet, but I thought we gonna do some editing and then maybe we get here because this is a really useful tool. I have had option to use it both for general annotation as well as for work actually once. So for this, I, I, I went back to some of my images from many years back when there was the World Orienteering Championships in Sweden. And I took a lot of pictures, runners and such. And I think this is a good use case for annotating them. So we know which pe person is which part of the image. So I thought I would try to find some image from a press conference or something like that. When we have multiple people depicted like here. Um, so let's, let's pick one of those and see, first of all, does it have the pick statements to begin with? And based on that, oh, this is perfect. We got all three of them. One, two, great. So this image, I want to also make like squares around them. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy the, the file name here and go back to the Wikidata positions tool. And uh, let's see, by file, file title, or like the MID or use the link. That's great. We can essentially paste in whatever we want there. Uh, let's load it. Nice. And we can change the scale of the image in case it makes it easier to draw or something like that. I want it to fit within the screen. And we got to see depicted with new region specified Gustav Bergman over here, uh, Fabian Hertner over here, and Carl over here. So let's log into this tool. I want to allow it to edit pages. Okay, we got back here. Um, let's see, I should still have it on my clipboard. Yes, and load. So now we're actually in here and should be able to edit. Yes, then we've got a button here that add region. So I'm gonna do that. It's gonna load. Let's see. Yes, it, it loaded something here. So we can actually, I want all of him to be in this or all of him that we see. I think that's about it. And then I can either cancel or click use this region. And it seems to have been made an edit. So if I, I go over here and reload. And then I go to the structure data tab. I can see that we now got this qualifier for Gustav Bergman that it's relative position within image. Then there is a bunch of numbers here, which are essentially the coordinates around him. So that's really neat. Let's do two more. Let's do Fabian. Oops. And now it loaded much faster when I used it once. So I can see his leg and over there. Something like that. And then this corner we should be able to move. Something like that. And use this region. And we can also see that the ones that are already tagged are disappearing from here, but appearing when I hover the image here. And I think I can click those and go to Wikidata. See if I would click here, it would go to Fabian's Wikidata page. And let's do the last one. And I could, of course, add more depicts here as well. Maybe there is a depict something depicted missing, or I wanted to say that it depicts, I don't know, water bottles and things like that. I could just keep going. 
So use this region. And yeah, here I can actually add more statements. So if I wanted to actually say water bottle, I could say water bottle and add it. I'm not going to add it. I don't find it prominent here enough. But hey, that's an annotated image. Um, and that's structured data on commons. That image isn't something special, so it's not on... It doesn't have its own Wikidata item. Uh, but I could I could keep going here. Let's, let's see what the structured data data say here. Yes, so here we also got Pafoshpe. Who is this over here? All of them got Wikidata items, so that makes sense. But hmm. uh, how would you do it in this case where you don't see the legs? Uh, would you uh, do the rectangle I where you actually see them? Let, let's let's do it. Um, yeah, I think that's. I can actually let's just copy the U URL this time and try that. Load works perfectly. Okay, so we do Gustav Bergman, and now it's first time for this image. I imagine that's why it takes a bit longer. There we go. So what I would do, and I think most would do would be to do it this way and just do his upper body yeah because the ultra part isn't depicted no so exactly I think yeah this is how you would do it and let's do a force pair because maybe the he doesn't have a region in any image on comments Something like this. And use this region. Uh, I'm going to do all of them because I don't want to leave an image half annotated. That's that's how boy I am. That's the wicked way. Use this region and then the last one. And that. So there we go. Uh, four squares here. Really neat. Uh, but another thing we can do with this Wikidata image position tool is to do it for like an item of representing um, an image of some type. Uh, for example, commonly on commons artworks. Usually have a Wikidata item, so let's yeah. let's go to Wikidata and find an artwork with some picked statements. So this will be something more prominent than my photos. Yeah. Or uh, maybe, maybe you have a famous. I, I, I haven't made any famous artworks yet. <laughs> We've got a bunch of exhibitions. What if I search for card? Here we got a painting. Here we got a painting. Do we have an image? We don't have an image. Ah, not on that one either. Oh, let's open a couple of different ones then. One of them must have an image. No. Do they have an image in the source? I wonder now. You can uh, add in your search has WB has statement. Has v, v, VB statement. And then it's P118, right? Yes. So this essentially means do this regular search, but also require that it has a statement image. This works on commons as well. And if you want to search, for example, by depict statements, you can also do something like if this would say depicts, and then you can do equal to, and then here have a queue number. So it's, it's really neat little trick. That's not right. 
has VB statements. I think that's right. No, it's absolutely not right. It doesn't work. Um. Isn't it P18? Yes, it should be. Is that not what you what one are using when it's painting? Is it the engine? No, it should be just image. Yeah, it should be just image. All right, let's make it simple for us. Then, then. Carl, La, Jean. and then I want a painting. Those should be digitalized. Yes, here we here we got an example. Um, do we have depict statements? Yes, we even got a bunch of depict statements here, and some of them are already tagged with position, so that that's really nice. So let let's use this one. I'm gonna copy the QID here and bring into the tool, and click load, and then we can see I just hover this. There is a shield here. There is a tree here, and this I think is a great example because, as we can see, there is already the Pix shield, but there is one shield, and it's already have a region. So what if we want to make a region around the second shield? What we actually do is that we add one more the Pix statement shield, because it's a different shield. So yes. Oh, did I spell that? Completely, yes. That's what it should be. So I add one more. Was it added or do I press enter? No, I click add over here. Yes, then we got one more shield and I see two shields already. So I'm, I'm gonna just add two directly like that. We got shield, shield. And then I, I'm gonna draw two boxes here. So we're waiting for the, the tool to load. There we go. So there we go and there we go. Use this region. I hover over it to ensure that this and this one is tagged. And I'm gonna tag this last one. And I can actually see if I hover, the one I just edit is white, and also the two are yellow. I just noticed that. We're gonna add a region there for the last. An another neat trick is if you start. Uh, dragging outside of this box, if you will create a new box. Oh. Oh, that's neat. I could just have done that directly then. Like something like that. Yes. Oh, that's a nice trick. Let's do it like that. Use this region. And then let's go to the wicked data item and reload this to see what it looks like. This is what it looked like before. If I reload it, we can see that we got shield, shield, and shield because they are all different shields and got different qualifiers for their position. And if I go to my edits, let's see what it looks like. We can see here that it added this qualifier and using the tool and it get the tag in case you want to filter on it as well it, and things like that this is very interesting because of course this is super helpful when you're looking at the, at the image to see oh these are three different shields yeah. i was doing earlier today a query for finding because sometimes people like oh there are cars in this image so they add depicts car yep. and then they say oh there are actually a quantity of four of them yes 
and this is a different kind of modeling like so if you want to say find everything with three shields you have to look for both of these kinds yes yes indeed and if someone would tag all the cars the modeling would break already there because you can't have both a region and a quantity yeah. no so yeah i think there are consensus that this is more common but i mean the ultra one is a lot easier many many times so I completely get why yes. people do it. Yes. And it's kind of easy to use convert it if you need to. You could write a, a script which would take that uh, quantity and just duplicate it. Mm -hmm. And I think that would be fine as well. Maybe yeah. it should even be a feature of a user script or something. Um, I don't think yeah. that's a bad idea. Yeah, I was more thinking about qu querying for it. Yeah. Yeah. Then you would need to do like accounts yes. and things like that. Yeah. yeah. So a subquery account and then one for the quantity yeah possibly um so and this this has all been if we if we actually go back to like an item here this has all been for like the picts but there are regions for more things than the picts and that's very interesting so if we go back to this tool like here it can work with relative position with the with an image and named place on map. So I thought I would show this later as well. So we need a map with names on it. What if I search for map on commons? Um, it's probably much easier to look at my edits. I tend to play with maps every now and then. I even have visited one recently. Ah, this is tricky text. Mm -hmm. And maybe not even places. Um... That one should have something. No, that was not a map. That's a map. Oh, well, for example, this is a fortification. Or it was a fortification south of Stockholm or today in Stockholm. And I can clearly read here, and this is a place on the map, so I'm going to use this as an example. So let's copy it, and this is by 5. So let's load that. And then I can select here, depicts, we never changed this before, but here I can say named place on map. Now is the question, is this fortification in... Wikidata. I didn't think of that. I, I see another name that should be in Wikidata, at least. Oh, it seems to be. Let's double check. Can I control click it? No, I cannot. I'm gonna add it and check it later. I think that's no, I just gonna search for the Wikidata. That's the easy way. So the scouts. Yes. This is it. Very much so. So we can safely assume that this is the right one. I want to click add. And then Add region. We can actually see here, I also think it's interesting that spelling has changed. So we got a modern spelling here in Wikidata, and in the map here we got an old spelling. So let's see. Oh, I got this feature that Jan mentioned. I can drag it like this. There we go. Use this region. And then I can also see here, this might be what you forked off. Yes. Tool. So let's. You should definitely have an item for that. Is it together? Yes. yes. That makes sense. Add region. And I can't start a new box inside here. No. <laughs> so you have but to click once outside first. It, yes. Yeah. And then make it like this. And use this region. And there we got both of them like this. And 
this as someone who does a lot of things with maps i really like this because if we go on commons this is actually marked as a map so we could georeference this but actually just given those statements oh no it's not here because i need to reload we can kind of get the coordinates indirectly by mm -hmm. having the coordinates we kind of know where the map is and just having that is so much information actually that makes it searchable and findable and things like that so this is a feature that i really really like i i got a crazy idea yeah i like this those. could be this could be like the the wikimedia captchas like show show people well oh, you have to add something on this one <laughs> ah yeah i when i first play with this feature let's see if i go to my contributions i there was just this example map i remember oh too many edits i do too much edits i should contribute less um <laughs> here is Wiki loves earth uploads could it have been later no it was probably earlier oh this is it it looks like this and if we open that in the tool i think it's one of those examples that you could go on forever with and load we might need to use the zoom feature here yeah we hover we can actually see all those small labels that some people have been adding so let, let's zoom in a little bit and oh it doesn't even zoom enough for us but there are a ton of place labels in this map it's just filled of them and i think this could be one of those games <laughs> Because often for those, I imagine you would also need to add like the Wikidata item. Mm -hmm. And yeah. And it would be super cool to like go together during a Wikidata edathon of some kind and like have the goal of finishing this map. Like if everyone makes one, then how long would it take? So yeah, it has a lot of. There is plenty of things to do. Okay, but going back to like the the documentation of this tool, I also know that there, there is a user script for using this uh, directly on comments, as I understand it. Um, so we can see the annotations. So I want to just install this and try that out. So in case you, you aren't familiar with installing like user scripts, you will also see how that's done. Um, and Jan just brought on to the screen the ID by Nicholas here, doing it for the birthday, and I think that's a great ID. So let's do. Uh, I'm gonna go to my user page and then just say common.es to install this user script. I already have a bunch of user scripts here and even some just custom scripting that I should probably not touch too much. Imagine the, the earth will go down on us then. Um, but I'm gonna add it here like that. And just click publish page. It's my own user page, it's not taking the moment. But then we, we got. Yes, we annotated this one. We can't see it here because we haven't reloaded. But let's reload it and see if the user script also. Inject, yes. So here we now got this. All the depict statements represented also in the square here, and I can click those and go to Wikidata. Um, but I also got this add structure data region button, which I think will just bring me to the tool. Yeah, and here I could add more statements or edit the region or something like that. So that seems to be an incredibly useful user script as well. Here's a question. Uh, does 
Wikipedias have access to these structured data. Uh, how yes. hard would it be to make... Uh, c can this also show up on, on Wikipedia? If we had a gadget or a user script installed there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And Wikipedia can also make... A gadget can make like calls to the Wikimedia Commons API and all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So as a gadget, yes. As a user script, probably. Yes. And yeah. Do you have an interesting use case? So we used to have these uh, uh, regions notes before uh, on commons. And if you go to that uh, help page on commons, uh, which you should, should you be able to get to from any, any file page on commons. So one of okay. these in the top there you have to flip to the oh you have to add a note there does that have some help yes there's a question mark there if you go yes. to that help page exactly so this gadget image annotator is actually used like in the background to make this user script to work i'm pretty sure it's said in the documentation here that uh, um Yes, this user script requires the image annotator gadget. So, but let's see. Here is the. Yeah, so this, yes. this is quite common. It's just the regular comments. Yeah. But they are stored in wiki text somehow, if I remember yeah. correctly. Yes, yeah. but I think we have some. If you scroll down here, there might be some good examples. Oh. Wikipedia. I can actually scroll here, like limitations, installing on in an old yes. wiki. Yeah. Yeah. So we tried to do this, but it, you also need some good. Uh... I, I never managed to do this on Swedish Wikipedia and couldn't oh. figure out why. Uh, yeah, I imagine I if you just combine this and the one by Lucas, it should maybe just work out of the box in the best case scenario. Yes. Oh. So, and then it, it's neat if you have like uh, a custom template for images that, so that you can see Oh, because not always yeah. you want to show all the things in a Wikipedia art in every Wikipedia article using that image. Sometimes you want to suppress that. Sometimes you want to just say this one has annotations, yeah. and sometimes you want to show them. No, no, but I could imagine like if, if for example, we would have a Wikipedia article about the World Orienteering Championships, mm -hmm. and you would have like an image of people getting their prizes and things like yeah. that. It would be interesting for people. Okay. I don't know which is which of these people, and just being able to hover it is is really neat as an alternative alternative use to caption. So, so I can clearly see use case of that. Yeah. Oh, that that's a really interesting idea, and just using structured data on commons as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this was the the Wikidata image position tool. And I'm going to bring up the link to the documentation once again, because I have shown what I wanted to show. And I just think it has so much potential and also like tools building on top of this. Maybe you do some type of filter and create automatic links to this. And I can add in all kinds of things or like search using this and named place on map. Give me all places on this map and yeah. It's just endless IDs that comes up. Yeah, Indeed. that's what it was it for me today, I believe. All right, super nice and nice to be back. Yes, so very nice. Yes. And, and no. in case you have like ideas for what we should show in the future, I think we plan to go all autumn. So. Mm -hmm. Feel free to share them or if there is a tool that 
you want us to bring up again, or maybe your own tool you made, mm -hmm. and you're feeling like, hey, we should show this, and then give us a ping. Yes, you can reach us just about anywhere, and you also see our usernames in here if you yeah. just want to uh, ping us on our talk pages. All right, but with that, as always, happy editing. Happy editing. Thank you.